All right, welcome back to part three of our full screen post-processing transitions tutorial. On this one, uh, we are going to simply take this transition that we made and we'll do a couple of cool things with it. Uh, we'll make a couple of different ones. We'll make a left to right wipe, a bottom to top or top to bottom, whatever you wanna do, uh, it really depends on your preference. Um, we'll make a zoom wipe so it'll be kind of like a circle that like zooms in on the center of the screen and then zooms out and we will make a camera dissolve with a texture so let's let's start this up uh, so we have this uh, fade transition right here this is the one we made for the purposes of the rest of the tutorials part one and two what we're going to do is we're going to make a new one so we're going to open a canvas i'll make it empty and we will follow the exact same process we did before. So legacy, post-processing. Um, and then we'll, we'll save this right away. Uh, we will call this one... Uh, let's, let's do the wipe shader first. Wipe uh, transition. Okay, and then what we'll do is we will get the template parameter and that gets us our screen texture. And then we'll say texture sample. Okay, and we'll plug that into here. Now that just gets us what the camera sees. That's easy. Um, what we will do now is we will multiply that um, by a wipe. So let's make the wipe. Uh, so texture coordinates. So it really depends if you wanna make it a vertical or horizontal they're really almost exactly the same but what we're going to do is we're going to let you choose so let's make a, um, a switch we'll call it a toggle switch it will make it zero for horizontal and vertical will be one okay and then we'll take whatever we get out of here so we'll say and we're gonna oh, we're gonna add a value to this and do you remember in the last tutorial we called this value transition so we're gonna do that again so we're gonna add transition to whatever comes out of this switch and then we're going to for it and I'll show you what happens with that um, so we have this transition and we're gonna go from 0 to 1 with it right and it's just gonna do that cool right now, I don't, I'm not really a fan of right to left. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and one minus this. Sorry, I'm gonna one minus this. Um, actually, I'm gonna one minus it right here, just in case the vertical one is fine. Okay, and that goes left to right now. I like that better. <laughs> but, but, here's the thing. I want zero to be white, right? So I'm gonna remap this from zero to one to one to zero. Oops, one to zero. And in that, I actually kind of messed up. I do not want this one minus anymore. I now think it's fine how it is. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so we start from here. So imagine white as being what our camera sees. And then we take black and we just wipe over the screen. Pretty simple. So all we gotta do now is multiply this by this. Save that. We'll make a new material here called white transition. And we will put that into our camera. Wipe transition, and we'll go to our other scene as well. So we are on scene one right now. So we'll head to scene two and we'll do the same thing. Um, and at, you know, at some point, if you're doing this in a project, you'll set this up where maybe you have some kind of controller that controls this within the scenes. You don't have to switch on each scene, uh, of course, but for our purposes, this works just great. And we'll push play. And we'll see what happens here. Oh. Okay, so something's not right. 
Um, so let's go look at our shader for a sec here. Uh, white. Oh, I know what's not right. We didn't actually set the shader or the material to use the shader. So we're in our white transition material now. And we'll drop down and we'll grab white transition. And we have this toggle switch, which we haven't even named yet. Um, and we also haven't made this a property. So there's a lot of things we missed here, which is really bad on my part, but we'll say property right here. <clears throat> Save that. And this toggle switch we'll call something else. We'll say, um, we'll call it vertical because vertical is the true value, right? And false is horizontal. So now you can see we have vertical switch here and we have the transition. So now if we push play, our scene loads and it wipes and our scene loads and it wipes. Pretty cool. Um, let's go to, maybe this is the right scene. Uh, let's go and I just wanna make sure that both of these canvases are using the world space camera because it looks a lot better when that happens. Let's try it again. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, now let's do a, um, a vertical wipe. Let's just try it out. So if I go to my vertical, so if I change this to one and I go ahead and I do this, so that's what the vertical wipe is gonna look like. That's not bad. I wouldn't mind that being um, bottom to top though. So I'm actually gonna remap this. Oops, not remainder, remap the vertical one. And I'm gonna go from zero to one to one to zero. Yeah, so top to bottom. I think I like that better. It's almost like a curtain closing. Okay, and let's just try it one more time. And let's switch this, oh, let's switch this to vertical. There we go. Okay, so that's a simple wipe. Um, and there's some things that I would probably do there. I would probably put a delay before it starts wiping. So it's like full black for, you know, like half a second or something and then goes up, but I'll leave that to you. Uh, let's make another one. Uh, this one's really cool. So this is a, we're gonna make a zoom wipe. Um, and this, is, this one's a little more complex and I'll show you why. It's really easy to start, uh, but then you start thinking about all the edge cases. And it actually gets a little crazy, but um, it is still really easy um, compared to most things in Unity. So it's so gonna go post-process again. We're gonna grab the screen. So template parameter, that's gonna grab us our screen. And then we're gonna go with a texture sample, like so, plug it into there. So now we've got <clears throat> our camera rendering properly. Okay, and now comes the tricky part. We are going to, so we want a an ellipse okay and that's basically well uh, amplify is nice enough to include an ellipse for us and what we're going to do is we're going to change the height and the width and this is what gets kind of crazy so oops what the heck just happened there float uh, we're going to say property and we're going to call this transition of course Okay, we're gonna go from zero to one, and I'll show you. So if we go into width and height here, so that's gonna happen, right? So that's great. I mean, that's that's a good start. So we'll multiply that by this. Okay, and we'll save this to full screen transitions. We'll call this zoom effect. Zoom, sorry, we'll call it zoom transition. Perfect, uh, and we will go ahead and create a material. Uh, material, we'll call it zoom, uh, 
transition. Okay, and we'll go to our main camera and we will put it there and we're gonna do that in scene one as well. Oops, main camera, zoom transition. All right, and let's just try playing and see what happens. But first, of course, we have to actually put the zoom transition on this material because I don't want to forget that again. <clears throat> okay, let's hit play, see what happens. Okay, so we got some issues. First of all, we need this to be remapped from one to zero to zero to one, uh, of course. Sorry, zero to one to one to zero, I meant. Opposite of what I said. Okay, let's try it again. There we go, switch to scene two. Okay, so you can see the issues. One issue is the aspect ratio, completely off. We want it to be an actual circle. I mean, you could use an oval too if you want. Uh, the second is we're still getting a bunch of black spaces. So uh, a couple easy ways to fix the black spaces. I'm gonna leave this play and we can go right in here. So uh, let's go 1.6. So that gets rid of the black spaces. So I went, I remap instead of zero to one, one to zero, I'm going zero to one to 1 1.6 to zero. And that just makes it bigger when it's at uh, zero. So as you can see, even on the little preview here, it works out a lot better, right? Um, so if I go to the zoom transition, I can actually just play with it in play mode here. So that's already much better. So if I switch to scene one, much better. Looking cool. Uh, now, here's the tricky part. We now want to take this and we want it to use the aspect ratio. So there's a nice little node here called screen params where we can get the height and the width, okay? So what we can do in this case is we can divide the width by the height and we can put that into, well, is that the best way to do it? Well, we can try this. So, um, so we're gonna multiply the width by this division that we made. Uh, so we actually want this to be here and we'll put that just into width, okay? Let's see what happens here. So that made it worse. <laughs> so I, I must have done that the wrong way. Um, let's go uh, divide height by width. Try that, there we go. So we got a circle. Okay, so that's looking a lot better. So what I did there was I got the screen parameters. I divided uh, height by width and I multiplied the width before actually plugging it into the ellipse, okay? So that's one way to do it. So now the problem, you, you might say, well, there, well, okay, there isn't really a problem. Like you have a circle, that's great, yeah. The problem is if height is greater than width, this is gonna be off. So like, let's say I use something like a 1080 by 1920 instead of, 1080, instead of uh, 1920 by 1080. Like let's say you're on a phone, for example. Uh, this is going to look really whack. Or not. I guess my multiplication wasn't as off as I thought. Oh, I thought for sure that that would be off. But hey, it's, it's fine. So we're golden. So now all we got to do is we have to make sure that at its largest size, which is zero, that it's actually going to show us the whole screen. Um, so let's go ahead and change this remap to something like two. Oh, need a little more. Three is getting a little crazy. Let's go like 2.5. So the problem here that I'm not going to fool with yet is that, oh here, let's just see it in action. So that, there it is in action, it looks pretty cool. The problem here is that if we are on a smaller screen, look how much I have to up this value before it even shows. There's not a whole lot you can do for that. Um, 
and I think it's fine as it is. In most cases, you're going to be targeting either mobile or um, PC or console, etc. And you're going to kind of know your aspect ratio anyway. So I think we're okay. So there we go. That wasn't too bad. Here's the entire shader, in case you need to see it. Cool. Um, let's do one more, just because I'm in the mood. Let's go... Uh, so one more amplify, and we're going to follow the same things, post-processing. Uh, we'll save this, and this one we will call... Um, Oh, what are we going to call this one? Uh, dissolve. Dissolve transition. Okay, so template parameter. Uh, texture sample. Okay, go into there, no problem. And now we're going to get a, another texture. We're going to get a texture object. And we're going to choose, I got this bubbly one here. You can choose any texture, doesn't matter. Um, it, well, it will matter, but it's your preference. And we'll say a texture sample. Okay, and we're just going to multiply this. Uh, we're going to multiply just the R value by this and plug it into there. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to um, we can leave this in play mode actually. Okay, and we're going to go to our main camera and we're going to create a, well, no, let's not do this in play mode, my bad. Uh, let's go create a material. It's going to be uh, dissolve transition. Okay, and we're going to stick that on the camera on both scenes. This is scene one. Let's go to scene two and we'll stick it on this camera too. Okay, and now let's hit play. Well, sorry, first we have to go ahead and actually assign that to the, we have to assign the shader to the material. Now let's hit play and it's gonna look weird. So it's pretty obvious why it looks this way. Um, we're not doing any kind of fading yet. So we're literally just overlaying this texture on the camera, right? That's all it's doing, <laughs> essentially. Um, multiplying it, not overlaying it, sorry. So let's go ahead and uh, finish this off. Let's uh, put a float here. We'll give this a property. We will call it, you guessed it, transition. Okay, and then uh, what we can do, well, this will look kind of weird, but actually let's just, uh, Let's just do this. Let's add to this. So we're going to add from 0 to 1. Uh, so let's make this a slider, 0 to 1. We're going to add to this, and then we're going to floor. I'll show you what that does. So that does that. Super cool. Okay, we're going to floor it. And we're going to put that into here instead. Now, when we transition in, oh, uh, it's going to look like that. Pretty cool, eh? Of course, we want it to be remapped like usual because we want one to be the dark fade, the dark part of the fade, and zero to be the light. So we're going to remap this from 0 to 1 to 1 to 0. Hit apply. And there we go. We have a fade. Dissolve fade. It's pretty neat. And there you have it. Uh, yeah, I hope you learned some things in this tutorial. Um, I love playing with full, full screen post-processing shaders. Um, and I think screen transitions really, really add to your your project. So have fun with it. And uh, until next time, I will talk to you later.